What's going on, everybody? It's Ron Brown, LMT, the People's Fitness Professional, my co-host. Uh, we just got off kind of uh, off a podcast kind of late, so we are kind of late. Thank you for being patient, God. I really appreciate you, G. Uh, before we go into it, let's run that intro. Peace to the God. What's going on, G? How you doing this evening? How you doing, brother? Life is good, man. Just enjoying myself, you know, working hard and, uh, you know, focused on my health and my wellness right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. What, what, about you, what about yourself? Oh, uh, man, the usual is the same. Work, work, work. That's it. Stand out of the way. Get some money. Stand out of the way. That's it, man, you know? Yeah, staying out of the way, getting some money, you know, that's... Uh, that's uh something I, I I I'm disagreeing with right now on, on my other, other podcast. You know, we tend to this is this is this is sidebar, but uh I can't stay out of the way no more. I'm realizing like because there's so much going on in the community to where I think that you know men over a certain age should you know contribute, add on, you know, um especially you know, coming from the five percent nation, you know, you know, you know what our duty is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it's important. It's imperative for us to be in the way, you know, so to speak. You know, okay. do, do something. You know. Okay, I I I, I can see that. Yeah. No. Now, before we go into it, I want to, you know, uh, I want you to give a little history on who you are and where you come from and, you know, your name and uh, what you do, as, you know, as a profession. Okay. Um, well, I'm DJ producer Shot Seven. Um, my right name is Shot Kim Seven a lot. Uh, I've been in this, I've been living this way of life for maybe. Well, my mother says something different, but she said 84, I said 90, 89, 90. So, you know, uh, I actually am a music producer, a and &R. Um, What else? Teacher, teacher's assistant. I work in this charter school system. I run after school programs. I also do that, too. That's that's like my, my number one. Then it's music. It, it used to be the other way around. Music, then that. But now it's transition to you know back into the school system uh that's just harlem definitely <clears throat> well hold on i was born in atlanta i was raised in harlem in atlanta from uptown the west side you know mm -hmm. oh that's pretty much my mo man you know okay so now um you moved from atlanta at what age oh uh, <laughs> to live in new york uh finally Maybe well, I was in New York from eighty one to eighty five. Then we moved. My family moved to 86, 1986. In nineteen eighty six, mm -hmm. so I was in Harlem from eighty six till ninety. Then I went to college. To play, I was gonna play pro baseball actually. So I went to college in um, Alabama. I was trying to go to Syracuse, but Syracuse they fronted on me so. Mm -hmm. I got some trouble uptown in the neighborhood and uh, I took off down there. So, mm -hmm. but I, I've lived in Harlem most of my life, actually. That's why they say I can't rep Atlanta because I lived in Harlem longer than I lived in Atlanta, but my birth certificate says Atlanta, Georgia. So, you know, I, I kind of have, I also finished high school in Atlanta too. I'm getting in trouble. I went to Cardinal Hayes in the Bronx mm -hmm. before I went to um, graduate high school in Atlanta. So I, I went to school with, um, who was at that school? Little John was at the school I went to at this time. Oh, cool. Uh, Killer Mike, he actually came up under me later. I started an organization called, it was called Black Teens for Advancement. This was from when I was like my pro-black days, you know, even though we're not pro-black nowadays, but my pro-black days, we started an organization called Black Teens for Advancement. And at this time, they were um, 
they had gangs in Atlanta, but they didn't have gangs. Mm-hmm. You know, but they had high school rivals. So high school, you know, you know, like like let's say Hayes or fight Truman. So it'd be stuff like that. Mm-hmm. High school stuff. And uh he got a little deadly watch, you know. People from other places came with you know their destruction. So we kind of started, you know, doing youth motivation to stop the high school violence, which turned over to like it's, it's gangs now, you know, Crips, Bloods, and all that. But then it was more high school oriented. And that's what I do, man, you know, pretty much. You know, most people look at my background as music, 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 or the underworld stuff. I really want to talk about it here, but if you want to, we can, if so. But because, mm-hmm. you know, if, if I put, if I post, Let's say I would post uh, me working with autistic children. I make it five likes, you know. But if I post, I'm in the studio with Omega, thousand likes, that type of stuff. So, wait, hold on. So you're a student of Omega, you said? Yeah, Omega is my man. Yeah, Omega is a good friend of mine. I have a lot of friends from Queensbridge, and Mega is one of them. All right, so let's 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 take this let's take a deep dive, right? So I don't know if you want to mention where you're from in Harlem. I'm not sure, so I didn't say yeah. it. you want to mention I'm from, it? I'm, I'm from well they changed the name now. I'm from Colonial Homes. It's right next to the polo grounds. Right. We're from the same project. We're from the same projects, yes. We're from Colonial Homes. They changed the name to you know range or whatever. Yeah, they're wrangle. But I call it colonial. It's gonna be forever colonial for me. Yeah, come to the door, bro. For me too. Now, now, how did you get from colonial to Queensbridge? Well, actually, from colonial, I went to 107 in Amsterdam between Columbus Avenue and Amsterdam. YTC neighborhood. I don't know if you're familiar with YTC crew. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so called my area. And uh, I have a friend. Um, he's he he he's very a high affiliate with Cormega Nas Autumn, but they are from the same projects. So when I met certain people, Black Jay and Hayes, and my man Spunk, we kind of started moving like that. So. I would go out to Queensbridge here and there, you know, do my little one two, however. And uh, that that that's my Queensbridge, but you know, I, I come up under um, I actually was put on by Showbiz. That, that's that's what made me want to start producing Showbiz. Wait, hold on. So how do you go from one oh seven Amsterdam to then Showbiz and AG? Quamega. How how did Showbiz how, AG starts before that? Showbiz AG is way before that. Way before that. Jazzy J, all that. That's that's like my Bronx area. That's like my early 80s, early 90s uh situation. And uh yo, give me one second. I don't mean to do this. People, it's an interview. Y'all gotta hold on one second. The baby's doing something. Okay. Yeah, I want to try to figure out how the brother went from Colonial projects to 107 to Showbiz and AG to Quamega. I'm trying to make that connection right now. Let's see if let's see how good I am at interviewing. Let's see if we can make this happen for the viewers. All right, now let's see. Trying to make this connection here. Make sure y'all watch uh, the live that we just did. We just did a live uh, on Fat Man Scoop, Irv Gotti, health and wellness, and uh, I forgot what else. Something else on there. We just did a podcast about that, health and wellness. I threw some little tidbits out there for the public to um, maybe uh, grow from. You know, I was talking about how you can just take, you know, one habit at a time and uh, build up your habits, meaning, you know, you could 
drink water if you are not used to drinking water. This is like a health tip. You could drink drink water. If you weren't drinking water, you could drink two cups of water, three cups of water, and then slowly start building up in your cups of water. And then uh, after that, you know, uh, you're going to add something else to those. Okay, pardon me. Pardon yourself. We back. Yeah, par pardon me. I just want to finish explaining the fact that, you know, just health and wellness is more about, you know, focusing on the habits, you know, picking up good habits along the ways one at a time. And I was talking about that on the last podcast, but I want to talk about how were you able to go from Colonial 107, then Showbiz and AG, then Quamega? How did that happen? Did it happen like a, in a linear timeline or did okay, it? Let me start this over. Yeah. Okay, that's how it started. In New York City, in Harlem, right? I wanted to be a, a this is how I got into business. I wanted to be a hip hop dancer. So I used to be a dancer. That's how I got into the thing. No stripping, none of that stuff, like hip hop dancing. And at this time, that was really moved because I, I could, I never could rap. So I wasn't going to rap or do anything like that. So once uh, I knew my family was moving to um, Atlanta, I wanted to stay in New York. So through this time, um, Jazzy J had a studio on a, in the Bronx. So at this time, uh, those cats would be around, and I was just a fan because you know Showbiz was was kind of he was that dude in the Bronx before he got into you know beat making. So watching them and you know learning the science of equipment, uh, I started going to a couple auditions. Uh, the first video I was in, I'm, I'm gonna say this too. It's called Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh had a video called Summertime. Y'all can pull that up too. It's called Summer. Actually, Puffy was in this video too. We were like background dancers or whatever. And uh, so that's how the show, the showbiz AG and the digging in the crates lineage came. Because you know, I was kind of tapping in with them. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, some street stuff, honestly. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was some street stuff, you know, but I want to be a dancer. So once I started seeing, I had a cousin in the North Bronx that had the Technique 1200s and stuff like that. So I, I would kind of watch him. And my father's my father's a musician too. So that's where the Bronx lineage just came. So once I started um doing some things in the neighborhood, had a little money, I was able to buy a drum machine, you know. So once I had a drum machine, I didn't know how to work that shit. I'm be honest with you, I did not know how to work it. So and, and then you know, you had to read manuals back then to figure out how to program so uh i ended up at jazz j studio jazz they showed me a couple of things and uh that's when i slightly got in some trouble and that's when i kind of went to the west side 107. Mm -hmm. so i was over there doing what i had to do I got in some more trouble and my mother said no you got to come home we don't live in New York City no more. You got to come home. This is your home now. Come home. And I didn't want to come. So when I got to Atlanta, check this out, right? So I got to Atlanta. My mother was good friends with um, Dallas Austin mm -hmm. and Gene Griffin. See, all of them, my, my mother's Guyanese. My mother came from Guyanese to a place called Columbus, Georgia. My mother met my father in Harlem, because my mother went to Pace College. I tell the story all the time. That's how I ended up, we ended up there, period. Okay. So, so now, but the Queensbridge thing, that was just me on the run, making little moves here and there. And at this time, while I'm making those runs, you got Trash, you got Spunk, you got Cormega, you have uh, DJ Hot Day. I don't know if you ever heard of DJ Hot Day. DJ Hot Day was he's like the one of the biggest DJs out of Queensbridge. So they so they kind of put a battery in my back to uh inspire me to like, man, you should try it. So that's when I got into tapping back in and seeing how showbiz did his thing with the chopping samples and that thing. But still, I was still trying to play pro baseball. Remember, I mentioned that earlier. Mm -hmm. So once I got into the trouble or whatever, 
my mother told me I got a second to this college to play pro baseball. Mm. I'm thinking of part of my lane. I'm thinking of Dominican shit. That's what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm thinking of that. I'm not thinking about no baseball, really, because I, I was pretty. I was okay. I wasn't rich, rich, but I had a little money, so I wasn't thinking about that. But I also got an education too because. I always knew that's my mother kind of puts education. I wasn't going to college. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I wasn't gonna go to college. Even though once I got deep in my studies, I knew a lot taught us, you know, to get a trade or education. So once we once once we had our little crew outside of YTC and these other crews, most of us tried to go to college. We may not have finished, but we tried. You know, maybe two or three of us finished, but I didn't. So that was kind of the foundation of tapping in with a lot of my friends in Queensbridge. Okay. Now, now, as far as, uh, I don't know if you want to go deep into it, but were you a part of YTC or? Nah, no, no. Okay. Well, Chongo lived in my building. Chongo lived in, in the building I lived in. So I was, I kind of, I want to say it for the book, but I was, I would help them with, certain things that they needed for the destruction of the community on, on a black revolutionary tip if you could y'all put that together i don't want to sit here and say it. yeah hey i gave them ak-47s no i'm not going to do that but mm-hmm. y'all can use your imagination so yeah i want to do a movie we try to do a movie on the ytc crew actually oh i'm i'm in the talk so trying to put that together because i was there so Right. What was that like, like living over there, you know, because when you think about 107 in Amsterdam, you're not really thinking about too much like violence or anything like that, especially in these days and times. It was crazy violence over there, man. I'm telling you, you got projects, you got Douglas up the block, mm-hmm. you got Amsterdam houses too. So you got these two projects. Then if you go down the hill, you got, uh, what was shooting, shooting them from? St. Nick's, yeah, 10, down, down the hill, like Lennox, 110 for Lennox. Right. Oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah. So it's either we running down the hill or they running up this hill. <laughs> so it was always action. And it's always uh, that side of that's, that side of Manhattan has always been a money pot because you got Columbia right here, University. You got Broadway on the side. You have all these corners. You got Douglas, Broadway, and the projects. So then you got Manhattan Avenue. My bad, I forgot about Manhattan Avenue. So all of these spots, you're able to make moves outside of territorial. When you get caught, you know, it's a problem. You know, that's in anybody's neighborhood. Because, you know, back then you couldn't come to Colonial and set up. You just couldn't. Because Colonial, you had people in polo grounds. Then you had people all the way down 8th. 8th Avenue. So that that wasn't happening unless you knew a family. You was inside doing that. You couldn't come to Colonial and do that. Then I don't know about now. No, you can't do it now because uh, nah. no, you can't do it now actually because they out some goons out there now. You know what I'm saying? So the gang thing just came a little bit, which I don't like, but they don't bother me, man. You know, I, when I see them, I'm like, you men just is crazy. Now, now, when did you come into knowledge of yourself? Well, I had like two phases of that because, like I said, in colonial. I hate saying it about our projects, man. Our projects, it was a lingo thing up there. None of them ninjas really had knowledge, bro. They just knew the words. They just knew the alphabet, the language, this, da 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 None of them really lived the culture of being a five percent until I was going to Bullies to gamble one day. And, uh, man, this was probably 90, I would say 91. When I said, you know what, I'm in this culture now. But 90, 89, I was like dipping and diving through it, you know, acting like I knew what I was talking about, but I really didn't. So I met the right man to teach me civilization for real. Mm-hmm. So once I got that civilization, I found out who this man was who was teaching me. He was somebody in Harlem. So I'm like, oh, so I guess I did meet the right person. So once I got that, 
1990. I won't say my year one is 1990. Okay, 1990. And your educator was who? Ahmed. I got educated by a guy named Ahmed. Ahmed. And, and where is he from? He's from uh, 13. He's on. He's from 113. Downtown, yeah. Okay, and with with it, so I'm trying. I always try to like when 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 five percenters get on a platform, I try always try to get them to trace their route back to the first nine born. Absolutely. Now, yeah. he was taught by Kaheem. Kaheem was taught by Allah. Okay. Okay. He's taught by. And, and I'm glad you asked that question. Pardon me, y'all. You know, I'm glad you asked that question because I always stress that you know it's good to have a you know a foundation where know where you came from because if you know where you came from with your regular family you should know where you came from for your universal family so peace peace right. you know what I'm saying? because 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 the internet right now like i said before people go people before people go to that all our school they're going to go to google and say da, 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 what's da, 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 da. then they're going to be all twisted right. so now here we go have to clean up because remember i do is to teach what we know from those who don't know not those who know right because you already know i'm not no I may enlighten you, but I'm not teaching you. Because hmm. this culture where life is for the children, really, man. I'm, be, I'm just I'm just being honest, man. If, if you're over, to me, if you're over 20, I'm not fucking with you. Pardon my language. That's just what it is. But you know what? I, I, have, to, I have to disagree with that. You know why? Because why you? Now, the only, the reason why, the reason why I disagree with it is because when I got knowledge, I was 16. Right. Yeah, that age. Now, after 18, 20, when I got to those ages over there and I really needed an assistance, it wasn't there for me. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and I and I attribute that to the fact that you know the way the nation speaks about teaching is, is about teaching the babies, right? So once you hit a certain age, you're no longer a baby and you're responsible for yourself, right? However, technically, if you're under 25, you're a, still a baby because your brain is not fully developed. And I didn't, I didn't get that that either. I knew that before Charleston White started saying that. <laughs> so basically, you're saying milk and cookies for rookies, coffee and donuts for grown ups? You're saying that milk and cookies for rookies, coffee and donuts for grown-ups. That's what it is. I used to say that too, 25, you know, but but my perspective had changed within the years, God. You mm -hmm. know, and that's just me being a piece of shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it has changed because the, the, the demographics have changed. People feel the lessons are outdated. People think all these things. No, it's not. You just outdated. You just can't count. You just stop counting. You just stop really drawing it up. You you, you didn't put your cameras out no more. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So what what's you know, once the street kind of comes into it, you know, people feel like you know they can make their own rules up. But you know, I'm not saying I'm not enlightening anyone. I'm saying if I'm gonna give you nods of self, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure you you know the Asiatic calendar, you don't eat any swine, you learn the language and you learn the way of life of this. You're not just gonna learn this to be a rapper, a good rapper to be witty this with me, right? Because mm -hmm. because a lot of people come into this for that. I'm just being honest. This is just my perspective. <laughs> so you're calling me 20 years old, asking me for knowledge itself. It's not that easy with me. I'm actually yo, where your mother from? Who's your dad? You know what you do for a living? You in school? Mm -hmm. Are you hustling? Like what you need knowledge itself for? Right, that makes sense. Got you. That makes sense. Veterinary so, background. So, 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 so that's why I say 20, all right. 21, definitely. I'm not messing with you. Because either you had this before, you didn't follow through, or you need someone to hold your hand. Because once you're in you, you you're on your own. Once, once you go to lesson number one, yeah, yeah. Let me say you studied it. I got you here to enroll. Now you're on lesson number one. Let's see how good your memory is. Mm. Okay. Okay. And and that's our problem today. My my see, we don't have structure outside of giving people mathematics, alphabets, and on to me lessons. What is actually the structure? 
because I'm known from Long Beach to Canada. And all these places I've been, we all have the same issues. We got the same issues everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it, so we have that. We don't have a site. We don't have a set structure. So if we have a community with no structure, it's kind of hard to ask for bread. But those who have bread. Because they're like, what is it for? Oh, it's for the Fickle Window All Our School. Y'all ain't got money for Fickle Window All Our School? Or certain things, you know, when mm -hmm. children isn't involved. Like, we want to take the children to California to a parliament so we can see how they live. Figure it out. But see, when they come to us, people who are like in the streets or used to be in the streets, who they say, well, you know, Shaq Kim got some bread. Let's ask him for 300. You know, Isaac Freeman got five. That's so if they can't get to you, they're going to send your OG to you. Most of my OGs are gone. Freedom gone. Ackman gone. Dumar gone. So not saying I am untouchable now. I'm just don't have my OGs here to say, yeah, brother, we really need you. Because mm -hmm. if I walk by all our school, if I go downtown to 2 right? At 8 30 in the morning, all our school is not open. What's the problem? You said what's the problem if it's not open at 8 8 in the morning? Yeah. The problem is is that uh we're missing people passing, going to work, and all of that. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what one of the young crips told me in our neighborhood. All right. One of the, one of the, one of the young crips, he was born in our culture. This is what he said to me, God. He said, God. I ain't talking about you, OG. Why I can't go to the Allah school and get a metro car if I need a help? But I can get some help from the homies right here. I can get a bag of sour from the homies. Come on. <laughs> so, so, so now what do we do? Here you go, man. Man, look at your metro car, man. Fuck that crippy shit. You born, you got no stuff. Because see, what they have done, they have replaced cripping as the way of life and their culture as the religion because they was born here from their parents and that's somersault backwards mm -hmm. right. i'm not gonna lie i wanted to be a crip when i was a kid i had a, I had a military father too so we moved around mm -hmm. so that first of all i want to be a black panther let me correct you first i want to be a black panther first People don't know Black Panthers are Crips today. That's that's what that's that's where that came from. Yep. So Crip means community revolution and progress. Progress. Yep. So if I'm it a part of this set, and the goal is for the revolutionary for the revolution to be in progress with these said persons, I'm with that. That's no different from being with the gods. God, if, if 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 I'm at if I'm on 157 Broadway and I hear you about to get on the C train and you say Allah Wakbar, I got to run over there. Where you at? Yes, sir. What's the signs, God? What's going on? Well, so it's, that it, it, it's the same method, but when we don't have no structure, people look at us like, look at these niggas. Here they go. They're gay. They this. They that. We none of that, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I want to say this. Um, now, I don't know what it's called exactly, right? So just because, you know, the gods and the earths can be real critical about things you say. So I just want to make a disclaimer. I don't know what it's called exactly, right? But there's some kind of committee in the law school. Did you, are you aware of that? I don't know. I, I don't know. No, I don't know none of that. If it is, we, we got to sit back and watch. Well, this is what I was saying to um, the brother Shawnee on the last podcast was this. The things are there in place. It's up to us to go show up and participate and make changes, you know, for, 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 for the way we see fit. Right. Okay. You know, um, so I didn't know it was a committee there until I went to the uh, law school about starting a podcast in the uh, law school. 
And that was the time when Umala was still alive. I took it to Umala. Umala said, you got to take it to the committee. And I took the podcast idea to Umala in the committee and it was approved by the committee. However, I decided to not go that route because I wanted to have different types of people on the podcast and I didn't want to have different types of people walking in and out of the law school. I'm saying all that to say that there is a committee, there's things going on in the nation and there is some, some sort of structure. Now, can it be structured more? Yes. And that comes with people like yourself who has a great mind and an idea to then bring bring your idea to the table and move the needle in that regard. Okay, I'm glad you I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up. And by no means I am hating. Okay. I'm saying this because I'm gonna tell you something I did in Atlanta. Okay. When I was in Atlanta, right? It was all over the place. I came back home and asked, yo, how do we start parliaments? How do we do such and such? How do we do such and such? Because Atlanta is a different structure. It's got this, you know, we have no problem with the Muslims. The Muslims are coming to our ciphers and running things. You know, you have this uh, fake Allah team thing and all these other things. You have uh, the thing they call the Muslim God, all, all, et cetera, et cetera. So now I have to clean all these things up. How do I do that? With structure. So now when someone comes to Atlanta, I say, okay, listen, the nation is Islam, they're going to stay right over there to March 15 on uh, whatever block that is. Here in Atlanta, if you're a 5% and you are in the law where manifest, you're going to come to this park here every last Sunday of the month. We're going to have a family day, and we're going to start a publication to let people know we're here. Boom. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Mecca, we have been had a committee since I've been here. What has changed, though? Um, I'm going to say, um, from what I see, I don't know if it's coming. I, I, as far as, are you saying what has changed in Mecca, or are you, are you saying what? Yeah, we got to talk about our hood. Let's talk about our old hood. We ain't talking about Okay, okay, hood. okay. So in Mecca, in, in Mecca, you know, um, I mean, Sunez is there Thursdays, you know. They have... Uh, uh, I think some kind of like um, trade school going on in there as well. You got the God Sincere teaching boxing there. So there's always classes and such going on. However, I can't be fake about this. I want to be transparent and real. From what I see, looking from, with my two eyes, things haven't changed enough. Nothing's changed. We had all that, God. We had classes. We had nothing. Nothing has changed, God. People had, you know, what has changed the individuals. If this God passed away, this other God comes. If that God don't want to come no more, another God comes. First of all, we didn't have no women there. So where the women at? If someone walked into all our schools, should be a woman like peace. We'd have to know how you doing. Do you need yeah. a Do you need copies? Do you need directions? Do you need to go hot? You know, you know the train. We don't got none of that. Let's deal with basic A, B, C, like one through three. Hmm. We don't have that. Right. Guess what we have though. Let's talk about infrastructure. Exactly. Guess what we have though? Mm -hmm. Somebody come from Chicago. They want to see the hub. We have a social club for old men who's waiting for somebody to come there. So they can get nickels and pennies, God. Hmm. So our infrastructure, we don't have it besides giving somebody math and alphabet. Okay, we got classes every Wednesday at six o'clock. That's a choice thing. Remember, we know everything, remember? <laughs> so everybody know everything is not gonna come. So now we have to enlighten the young. Come on, man. Let me let me, let me show you this. You know how Christians used to have uh, it's called Vacation Bible School. You remember that? Y'all remember that? Y'all familiar? You probably went to Catholic. Catholic. Okay. You, you have uh, Revival. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Same, same, same stuff, God. Mm. 
So when we say, okay, we want to build on top of the school, we want to build this platform, how? Because the men who are leading this, they are building. Shot sh- sh- on them. They, they build, they get things done. We can't do it by ourselves. So if me, you, and uh, what's my man's name, Mikey? Yeah. Me, you, and Mikey, Mikey want to say, okay, Mikey got five, you got five, I got five. We got 15,000. We're not going to say, here's five. We may say, man, you know what? Here's a thousand. Let me do the knowledge, see what y'all are going to do. Let's see what this is going to move forward. And mostly people who are in this, everybody's on the internet anyway. Nobody comes down to that school. Everybody's on the computer, man. Listen, hey, God, yo. And I realized that and I said, you know what? I got to show my face more. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got to build with the gods and the earth more because the what you're saying right now is true. However, we can't say much. We can't really speak on it if we're not in the cypher like that. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we're... Uh, we could we could we could be on the outside talking and saying yo this is not going right this is what's not going on in our law school but the question is is what have you done to make to to make knowledge born perfect question mm-hmm. I listen to what I said earlier God I've been here since the 90s nothing has changed whether I built this and it, when I went out to Indianapolis to help them build this thing whether I was in Atlanta to help them build their thing, whether I'm downtown, they ain't got no toilet paper in all our school. Let me take some toilet paper, paper towels, and drop that off. They ain't go to Delaware where I'm going. I work in the public school system. I can I can say that right there. That's what I'm doing. Well, I'm talking about in the act in the school, you know, like contrib- what, inside the school contrib- contrib- contributed to the nation itself. You know, like going to the school. Like certain things, like I was saying before, this is not happening, this is not happening, this is not happening until I start getting on the phone, phone, going to the law school, building with other guards, building with other air likes, and realizing that there is a whole lot going on. But do we need more structure? Yes. Tell me, okay, tell me what's going on. Huh? Tell me what's going on right now. Tell, tell the world what's going on in all our school today. Like I said. I said that I said it uh, um, earlier in the podcast. What's going on is you have different classes. You have different different events. You have trade classes going on in there. Uh, uh, The Garson said he teaches boxing for the youth, and uh, you got Sunyaza Law teaching there every Thursday. You got Dark Kim in there teaching, building with building with people. You know, you got a a Law Shaw down there. You got uh, even Inf Mega, who's from uh, P Lawn. Going around, you know, he has a law school in Mecca, uh, uh, um, uh, YouTube, channel. YouTube channel. So that's something that has changed. That's a that's a that's that's something moving forward. But it's all whatever you don't see, because I remember being a part of the New Black Panther Party. Um, you know, uh, Brother Shaka Shakur would say, "If you see something that is wrong, you fix it." Yo, you, God, fix we've been saying that. Listen. Listen to what I said, God. Everything you just said, mm. I've been here since the 90s, God. Mm. It's the same thing. It's the same. There hasn't been any elevation. Only elevation has been they have moved the, the kings on the chessboard. All these brothers have stepped up. Soon they stepped up. Doc Kim has stepped up. Yeah, it's the same structure. It's not bringing people here. Everybody's on this computer. So either you're going to do it on the computer, like if Meg is doing, mm-hmm. or we're going to fix. Actually, they had what they had downtown last week. Um, the art thing, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, it has to be way more things than that. And they can say, "Well, shock if you got to, I don't live there no more. If I was still there, trust me, I'd be the same knucklehead paying for the lights at the school, taking paper towels, tissue, toilet paper." And make sure we can get some black women in. I only see one earth running around there with kids. How many do you see? Uh I saw I saw a few earths. With kids? Uh I'm there looking for Jay-Z. Yeah, we get those coming in looking thinking Jay-Z is gonna be at the Oscar. We get that. 
No, I'm talking about Urs walking around with some children. Yeah, that 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 you know, that, there's a there's a there's a nice amount of Urs. I mean, should there be more? I wish. <laughs> I only see I only see one Earth. That's Earthy Jew. Yeah, her, Earthy Jew. She's always yeah. I see her in the trenches. I see her in ghetto spots with about five or six kids walking them. She would bring them to the all our school, walk them to the computer lab, letting them come play the computers. That building. Mm. God's coming to them classes to learn 120 lessons. You need to you, you, first. You need to read them, then memorize them, then come to get enlightened on how you break down this is the understanding lessons, or you know, because everybody got their lessons different. So if a man comes in there from Long Beach, California, got his lessons one to ten, one to thirty-six, blah blah blah, and let's say Doc Kim teaches one to ten, one to fourteen, one to forty, da da da. Now he goes back to his city. And say, well, man, I was taught, I got to talk like this in all our school. So now they ain't gonna take that for face value. That's a structure. It's not. So what is the structure for? If you go get lessons from all our school, you're gonna get it from somebody, or you get it from the school. You're gonna get it from the individual who's enlightening you. So, 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 so that's gonna be what it is. Yes, we have all these things with these people in, in these positions who are upholding, you know. The if megas, the dark hill, the soup, all of those people. We've been doing that, God. We've been doing that since I came. And my OG's been here since the 70s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you think with the with the with if megas doing right now with the law school in Mecca, uh YouTube, that's that's something that's different. Than yeah, definitely, definitely. What we're doing you know, right now with NYP talk show, yeah, because yes. yes. we need this because everybody's here, right? Of course, we need y'all because everybody's here, right? Right, everybody's here. So, now what do you what do you suggest? Thank you, needs to change first and foremost. I'm gonna say this, and I know I'm gonna get some slack for it, but who cares? I can fight. Listen, we. The five boroughs need to have a meeting of the minds, number one, and figure out, okay, this is what's going to be the structure for now, here, and forevermore. This is how we're going to do this. Everybody who's got it before here, that's how y'all got it. But now, this is our process. It's no different from running a charter school. You know, you got a principal, you know, you have this, you have this, you have this, you have this. You have this. God, I know doctors in this culture. I know dentists. I know lawyers. I know the police. I know you name them. I can, I can point to you anybody in this culture that you need. You can't go to that all our school and get that. You got to go make a reference. Hey, I need such and such. So they're going to go to a little path. To, let me see. Oh, the God is in um, Philly. He can help you. That's how it goes. But nobody in the hub with consistency of a structure. And we need more women because it's, it, it's one, two, and three, not just one. It's a man, woman, and a child. Right. So we go to the Allah school and we see Doc Kim who's clean. We see Sunez who's clean. And then again, we may see a Supreme or this God hides a motherfucker. Mm. So where's the security that to keep this bozo from bringing that over here, now, I'm not talking about um, equal rule ball or equal rule B. I'm talking about high explosives. We still got to face that. Mm -hmm. What is security? If your woman get beat up and you and, and you're not there, you got to run home from work. You can't call no guards unless you got a crew. Mm. You can't call all our school. Hey, listen. I'm going through some domestic things. I'm right here in the polo grounds. Uh, such and such, such. My God, Arthur Green, he's not here, but he works in Long Island. He's not here, but these guards are bothering me. Who's coming? Call out of school. Who's coming? We don't have that. Right. So that's why we have crews. When I say crews, we got guards who hang with each other. All, you know, then you got these earths who hang with such, such, such. 
See, I know some Earths who question people today's mathematics. Who ask Earth lessons. Because a lot of people think Earths don't ask each other lessons. They ask each other, they do that. They do the same thing we do. On the internet, though. That's what we need first. We need to build a set foundational structure outside of giving us these lessons in, in, in that part of it. I agree with that. So what would what, what, what would the structure look like? The structure would look like, okay. First of all, an age group. We're going to start with these age. We want ages. This age to that age. First and foremost. And that's all human families of the planet Earth. White, black, white, ugly, Christian, Jew, fat, ugly, everybody. Because it's knowledge is for everybody. The way of life not, but the knowledge is. That's why we see color, color civilized people now. That's why we see that now, because they are intrigued with the knowledge. And nine times out of ten, anybody that's original or color came this shit over some rap shit. Because of hip hop. I didn't mm. come this on hip hop. Oh, I heard Wu Tang. Oh, what they said. Oh, yeah. What that mean? The mm. majority today, that's why I speak on this. This is not a, a rap culture. I call I call I call some of these brothers and sisters uh hip hip hop. Hip hop percenters. I call them conscious hustlers. Mm. That's what it is. You know, because once you ask them the structure, or when I say structure, once you ask them the structure or the way of life of this, they can't tell you. Start asking people, yo, why we actually why we ask each other today's mathematics? What's the purpose of that? Start asking people that they're not gonna know. We ask people about 120. We ask people 120. All 120 does is show you how good my memory is. But if I say, yo, how you see this? Now we're getting into what it means. Okay. Now we're getting we get an understanding, right? Because you're giving me another man's understanding. What's yours? Right. Right. Because knowledge and understanding is one and the same, right? We agree on that? Can we agree on that? Knowledge and understanding is one and the same. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if I ask you, what's the understanding degree in the one to 36? And you give me the question. Okay, thank you. How you see that? Don't tell me how Elijah saw it with a rod. Now, if you're a rockhead, yeah, let's do this. You're a new boy, definitely. Quote that lesson, God. Let me see how far you got your studies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did Allah give us 120? I think Allah gave us 120 to give us uh, structure. Well, actually, we got the math. Supreme mathematics right. is the structure. Right. Supreme mathematics is the structure. Um, hmm. Why did Allah give us one? Yeah, you got to ask these questions. For, for, I, would say, I would say for discipline. You you know most of the first nine born didn't know how to read? Hmm. You recall this? Getting... Getting the lessons through word of mouth. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. Indeed. Oh, when I got this, my, my teacher said, yo, okay, since you learned what 29, which way are you going to go? You're going to take history or science? You know what I said? What's that? History. I'm from Harlem. Man, let me go talk to Bernice. I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking a lot of sister what this nigga was like. Mm -hmm. Pardon my name. Let me go see what he let me go ask her. Let me go ask HL off him. Let me go find these firstborns that's alive. Let me go ask them hands on. So once I got that, oh <laughs> I'm gonna take the system word over your word. Cause she knew him when he, when he was in the underworld, dumb, deaf, blind, muscle world, the whole thing when he came to all this. I wanted I wanted to know all of that. Mm -hmm. Along with the five, along with the, the nine born too, or the first generation, whatever, the mile, mile, wh whoever they were, I would know about them too. So let me get the history so I can tell people why we're not a cult, why we're not a gang, 
and why we're not these things because at this time you was a certain age to be a muslim and we're not muslim in the beginning we probably thought we were mm-hmm. you no know, once we learned that we're righteous people now we're able to explain why we're not muslim because you get that question yo what's your religion i don't have one you don't believe in god no i know him it's mm-hmm. simple it's no it's, it's no lip wrestle blah 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 because i'm not going to debate with you what works for you if christianity and holy ghost and hallelujah work for you hallelujah me being a righteous man knowing myself and knowing that the black man is god it is in me mm-hmm. I'm fine with that whether you see it or not because it's called kos it's called knowledge of self not you me that's what i mean about the structure and like you say we all have to do this but we all not on the same page it's still going to be right now now going back to the structure right you said that take it from this age to this age this age to this age yes now can you elaborate on that okay pop water how you gotta pay how you gotta be to play pop water between 10 and 10 10 to 15. right yeah you, you you see a number they gave us a number yeah okay to get knowledge of self we just said earlier when are you going to stop teaching when i'm going to start teaching or stop stop you never stop teaching yes you do you say you know you just said earlier you're not going to teach an old nigga. you said where's the power no, no, no. I was saying that I was, you know, referring to, the, you know, babies. I was just yeah. talking about babies. Like we were talking about babies and what's a baby. And I was saying, technically, if a, if a human's brain is not fully developed until 25, then you're a baby until you're 25. That's what I was saying. OK, part of me ask a question with a question. What age are you going to start teaching this culture? At what age you you feel like you're not going to teach this culture? I think that teaching, uh, uh, you know, dep- you know, whether it's in my household and let's say if it's in my household and I'm having a, a child, right, and the child is in, fresh in my 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 earth, you know, womb, belly, right? I, I think it's the best to start teaching from the womb. Okay, hold on, Paul. My teaching is as young as they can possibly is as young as they can be. Okay, so hypothetically speaking, mm-hmm. one years old. Yeah. Okay, so we say one years old to twenty years old or twenty-two years old. Me, I'm saying structure. I'm not speaking in the home. I'm speaking of human families walking up okay. outside okay. Mm-hmm. that way. Because if you born just now, like my youngest son said, see, he was born in this. He's this out the womb my sperm in her shit is already there i'm not speaking on that level because once you come out the way of life is already the way of life he's going to be come up under that yeah so those that's outside you ever met somebody say oh yeah i used to oh yeah i i, I used to deal with that mm-hmm. you ever caught with them before yeah you gonna teach them Ah, nah. uh, you're going to enlighten them. You're not going to teach them. You're not going to, okay, listen, come to my career. I'm going to give you these lessons nah. all over again. Exactly. We're not going to do that. Mm-hmm. So we got to be an age. Okay, we're going to say an age bracket from here, the children to here. That's first. We get that done. We got that age. Whatever age we come up with, that's going to be the age. Now, the structure. How are we going to do this? Are we going to get them age at the calendar first? Are we going to get a one? Are we going to student role first? Are we going to get mathematics first? Are we going to get this, this, this? We, we got to do that from that, 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 that. Boom. Are they going to fast for seven days or a month? Well, when I got it, I fast for three days. I fast for seven. Because he was, he was being an asshole because we, we was selling drugs and he was, it, it was cool, but we was going to sell some drugs and do some other things. He was like, y'all need to fast for both of them. That swan and that other swan. So we did seven days, but still you had to do it. However many days we had that. What books to read? What books are we gonna read? 
back then. We had to read the message of black men and how to even live. Then we got this math and alphabets with that. So you're saying like a uniform structure and how yeah. this it's a school. School starts at 815, 845. Gets out at 345. At 345, now we got that what Allah was talking about. A skill or a trade. Hmm. Okay, Wednesday, we're gonna teach dentistry. Tuesday, um um Raul and all them guys, they can come here and teach holistic health, how to eat, that type of stuff. Queen Shamara will come in like, I'm gonna show y'all some vegan meals. We're gonna have a cooking class. There's a kitchen in there. Mm -hmm. We got a computer lab. Let's get these. Let, let, let's get translators. We need translators. Okay, we're gonna have Thursday, it's gonna be translated. Friday, it's gonna be all these things. Go, how old were you when you learned about credit? Late when I really got into it, or, or when I yeah. like, just late, bro. Late, late. Listen, God, I'm power wisdom, God. Okay, that's my physical degree. I'm power wisdom, 52 y'all. I don't care about my own behind my age. I'm not dying my hair, I'm not painting my grades or none of that. It is what it is. I just got my credit to the 750s, I just got my fellies and sponge, all that. I'm 52. It took six years to do all that. So we got to have all these things lined up. Then we get to the rap, the hip hop, the double dutch, the boxing, martial arts. We get to that. Let's get to get some money for structure and how to treat these women and children. Then we get to the other stuff. We don't have that. I agree totally. <laughs> We don't. We don't need that. Right. But I feel the effort, but I have made the effort so much in all of these states. God, I've been to 47 states, God. I only got a few more to go. I've been all of them. And everybody's going to tell you, Shaquem is not talking about no rap, hip-hop shit, even though he's a producer and all this. He's talking about how to save our life. I'm mentoring some, I'm, I'm mentoring some drug dealers right now, right? Let's listen to this. I'm telling them, now these young, these, these little young weenies, I call them young weenies, because they, see 17, 18, and 19, you're the dumbest part of your life. Pull me wrong. 17, 18, 19, you're the dumbest part of your life. So now, you're, you're selling these narcotics to impress the God or a female that you like. Me the sneakers, this, that, such, 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 such. I said, listen, I was a successful drug dealer. I got out, made my money, didn't owe nobody, made sure no kids got hurt. <laughs> Done. That's successful drug. When y'all say that's successful, I said, I need a drum machine, I need a car, I need to get a crib. <laughs> I prioritized everything I need. Okay, my whip is going to be about 10. My crib is going, I'm trying to live the neural shell, so my crib is going to be about, I'm going to need about 15000 for that just to move in the motherfucker. I got children, three. So I need money for this. So once I get that money, I quit. Mm. So now I have money, avenues to make money. Mm. Once I bought all my studio equipment, I said, you know what? I got to get my money back for this. I sold beats for $50. I sold beats for 200 I sold some for 1000 I DJ for 300 you know. Once I got all my money back for the equipment, successful. Okay, now prices is up now. Now I'm learning the business. How does publishing work? It worked like that. All right, cool. Let me get that too. So now we're doing all these structures. We got to teach all these things outside of you got to learn these lessons first. Then we'll talk about that. That's deep. So you're saying what should come first? Should should uh, financial literacy come first or the lessons or should they come together? I got to say, you can chew gum and walk. Pardon me for smoking on here, but you know. You can chew gum and walk. Meaning, let's say you can chew gum and walk. Monday, you can teach financial literacy. Tuesday, you can teach 
why we don't eat swine? Why we don't pray on our knees? It's a mystery God up in the sky, blah, blah, blah. We got to move it around, but we still need women in here too. Ain't no women here. Ain't, ain't none. No women. I like to be around women. I don't like to be around dudes. That's just me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I see my brothers walking. Peace, God. What's good with you? How you living? Everything good? I know that cool. I like to be around women because the women are going to teach you how the same things, what we say those lessons do, how to rear children. We can do that too. We can do all those things. What they say, women give you perspective sometimes. They see things you don't see. Exactly. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, so, so once we start listening to those things, we get to learn it because we, we still have the method of each one teach one. That's what this is about. It don't matter if you Muslim, Christian, Jew, white, black, fat, ugly. It don't matter. You still got the duty to teach your civilization to others. Not recruiting them, but teaching them civilization for them to have a better life. But once those come into our, our hub, what are we offering them? Along with knowledge yourself. Right. How many of you know what knowledge yourself is dumb as hell? <laughs> oh man. We know many. A lot. We know a lot. So we can't say, okay, this is what it's about. We gotta make it about more things because it's a whole new millennium now. And them guys down there teaching at all our school, they doing they, they, they doing their duty, God. Mm -hmm. I do not promote smoking. Smoking is not good for you, kids. So you see me smoking. I'll be in time out next week, but you know, part of me. It's a medicine for me. I don't want do this to get high. This is I'm getting blessed. So I don't want to take this this positive note of me doing that. I chew gum and walk. So that's why I say the structure is, is well needed now. And you know, when I come back around, I'm still gonna get my ideas. You know, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something what happened one time. Listen to this. I'm in the neighborhood, right? Um You been to the computer lab in all our school, right? Yeah. How old do you think those computers are? Uh, you know what? I the the other day I was there, I peeked in there. I didn't really look at the computers to to make an, you know. An, it's not Apple computers. They're Dell. They're old. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, they're not. They're, I, don't, I don't think they 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 got the Apple in there. No, that old beige black. color. No, they black. The black old black Dells. The Dell's oh yeah. Colors. They Optiplex, old. like 745 Optiplex. Yes. Yeah, they old. Yeah. They old, God. I'm yeah. in the neighborhood, God. I run into an old thing, an old attic. Her mother runs like an after school thing at the um, at the church. She said, I got all these computers. I want to get rid of them. You know anybody want them? Who got their computers? She said, these right here. I said, oh, God, they were, they were all IMAX. I went to the parliament. Somebody got this parliament on tape too. I said, listen, I got these computers. Somebody donated these computers. I want to bring these computers and make the whole computer lab IMAX. Because that's my next project I'm about to do. That's going to be my last thing I'm going to do for the school. I'm going to put all, I'm, I'm put all Apple computers in that computer room. And I, I'm making that known here today. That's going to be Shock M7 next project. I'm going to redo that computer lab because we need it now. We need technology. That's going to help bring the people in too. We don't have that there. Some old guys who don't know how to use computers. Y'all got to come to computer class too so y'all can help. We don't need y'all to just mop the floors and do all that. Let, 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 let's figure this out for real, for real. So I get these computers, God. I present these computers. Make sure these. <laughs> they said, God, we don't need computers. God, we need the tower to do something. I left and gave the computers to people in the barrio, in, in the neighborhood. Took it right to the Catholic charities, right over there. 
They didn't say, oh, we need Wi-Fi. Oh, we need the, all that rocket science stuff. No. Come on. Let's elevate all of this. Mm -hmm. We should accept things that make sense. Now, if I brought a treadmill there, they're going to take it. Now it's just throwing a place, a space. It's in the way. Or you got to put it outside. The accountant. Who's really handling this accountant thing? Do we really trust them with this paper? So if they mess up the paper, what are we going to do? All these other coaches do things. We sweep a lot of stuff under the rug. But then they call the goons. Yo, this happened months later. Remember when, they, remember when the black man took the money for the pizza for the kids? Did y'all hear about that? Nah. Yeah, see, he was there to do some culinary stuff, to teach them. Da, 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 da. They give him money, this takes off, go smoke some room. Where's he at now? I see. Accountability. Accountability has to be for real, for real. Yeah. Structure. 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 We don't have it. We don't have it, man. But we are the greatest nation on the planet Earth. So I'm saying the universe. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the planet Earth right now because I've never been to Pluto or none of them. I've been on Earth. That's it. Let's talk about the planet Earth. Yes, I know how far Pluto is. Such and such, blah, blah, blah. It's probably farther than that now. But I know how far it was in 1934, in the 1930s. Right. So let's get to it. And all these rapper entertainers who got little money, y'all got to start coming back around. Rock him too, all all y'all, because the little the little money that some of these places need, even Philadelphia, Philadelphia got a school that's not a their school isn't a storefront. Their school is a ballroom. They have classrooms and a ballroom, hmm. and a storefront on the side where they can sell like ices or whatever. They need 250000 You mean tell me? Y'all don't know. 2000 motherfucker, to give y'all $20. Our coach ain't got that. You got 20 God? Yeah, like, yeah. You got, 20? you got 20 I got 20 So that's six right now. So let's imagine everybody on the internet gave us $20. Let's say 3,000 people gave us $20. $20. How much money did that go? You from Colonia. You supposed to know math. Like, pop off. You know, we're the, we're the bank. You know, see, our projects, we're the end of Harlem and the beginning of Harlem. Mm -hmm. Think about this. 3,000 people. Matter of fact, it's, we're going to say 50,000 because we know it's, it's, it's way more than 50,000 five percenters in this world. Oh, yeah, for sure. 20, 20, 20 times 50. What's the math on that, Mikey? Twenty times fifty. That's that's twenty times fifty. That's 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 ten thousand. Pardon. So twenty times fifty thousand is how much? Twenty. Yeah, the 20 50, 000 times. Over oh, that—that's a million dollars right there. Yeah. It's fifty thousand five percent. So let's say I talk to boss. Boss, man, we need five grand, man. Throw it all our school with five grand. We got to do such and such, such and such. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Nah, come on, nigga. You came from this. Throw us a quick 10 piece, man. Come on. We call it Nasir Jones Foundation. Boom. And, and we give all these people who are donating the biggest bread for whatever we're doing to make sense. Philadelphia can do that. Now they got a ballroom to rent out to this person, th these people, these people. It's still bring. Their income. So all our school, we have to create a system where it is generating money and they don't have to call and ask us for the little money for the lights or this thing. The builders are already generating. Even with the grants and all those stuff, we don't want to do these things. Well, we, if y'all don't want to use the government, let, let's get let, let, let's go in the underworld then. Y'all sell fruit, whatever, whatever, however. Let's go in the underworld so we make sure we got that. What we talked about earlier. A system. Who's going to make sure these lights is on every day? The water is cool. Who's going to be the janitor? 
I see, I see what you're saying. You're talking about re reforming and things, man. Just keeping the principle, just have an actual working mechanism. Go it's further right. with that. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, that makes sense, man. And your contract is your word of your boy. Okay, cool. Your school year, you're going to do the F school here? All right, cool. You sure? So you come here from two to six? All right, no doubt, dog. Where's the recall? All right, you got this. It's simple. It's, it, it, it's real simple. Then the earth's got to come step up and bring the structure with the with the physical organization of it, the interior of it. One of the earth was look. One of the earth was looking at my interview one day. You know what she said? What? She said, "Why are the you missing off the letter understanding on the board? Oh, you know, like this on the board, like mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. the She's like, yeah, we gotta fit, we gotta get into all that. The following week, she went over there. We still gotta have people there. But I'll be back in New York soon. Did they oh, so not in New York. I'm in Delaware. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm moving back though. They 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 they, they sit in the hall of general to Brooklyn now. I never go to Brooklyn, man. I don't know. No, nothing. Against Medina, y'all. Harlem, everything here. Yeah. Harlem and the Bronx, that's it. Harlem. Man, I whatever you want to do in Harlem, we can do it. You guys are the you guys are the Mecca, man. I'll give it to you, know, you guys. I'm, you. I'm from Medina, that's why. Listen, <laughs> man, I'm about to move to Medina. I'm calling every Medina guard I know. Hold on, guard. I'm here. Hey. Y'all know y'all got to walk me along this this place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's Northern land. Because if you're not tapped in with your family or your real tight knit family, family, your universal family, you're you you're gonna be walking around your like this with the what the phone they do with the GPS. How you get to such 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 no, I need my brother to walk me. If I'm being East New York, man, tell me how to get to East New York. I gotta get to the Bronx. Which is the closest train? Cause y'all got these number trains and letter trains. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what block don't go down? Even though I can go around any block, but still, in Brooklyn, I got to know that Harlem. I'm going in any neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your 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 message today for the nation is structure. Yeah, that's the message for today: structure, and let's get. It let's get it back to the foundation of actually what Allah really taught us, meaning what he taught us and how he taught us to live. Because we are making up things to do within our trial and tribulations. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying Allah said this, 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 a lot of these things, Allah said this, Allah said this, Allah said this, Allah said this, Allah said, so a lot of tell y'all nothing about chicks. He tell y'all about any, any of that? So that's what we have to do, man. And let's not make this a hip hop culture. Let's make this uh, a. Let's continue to ha have this culture. It you know in, in the matter of helping these communities, man, and these in all human families of the planet Earth. That's it. My understanding today. Right. We need to get back into our neighborhoods and communities. Not on a recruiting level. Just giving it to them. Because, you know, they to say we try to recruit them, period. No, we're not a recruiting agent. We just teach it and doing our duty for what we are taught to do. And once they're civilized, we are responsible for the uncivilized. Because they're in the barrio. They're in the neighborhood. If they eat swine. That don't mean we got to tell them to eat swine every time. We don't eat swine every time we see them. We keep dropping different rules. Man, you know them see eyes is terrible. Leave them see eyes alone. All right, Sha. I see you smoking them backwards now. You know you got asthma. Same thing. Each one teach one. We gotta learn from the 85 too, God. 
Right. A lot of gods, a lot of gods has never read the Bible or the Quran. It's just mathematics and the Bible verses is in our lessons and such, such, and such. I know I'm talking about dudes too. I read both of them. I never read the full Quran, but I read the Bible a couple times. Mm -hmm. But what is the Bible? I write my own Bible now. Okay, I created man and woman. I have a daughter and a son. Okay, I've done that. So that's my creation. I created man and woman already. So I'm going to live forever. Because I already created a, a reflection of me in my own image. So what, is, so, what is, so what is the likeness going to be about be about in this whole culture, in this whole nation, man? We got to get... We got to get a solidified structure. We got to have that. I'm telling you, we got to have that for the youth now. And we got to let them know, okay. I'm saying something. Else. You know, we're the only culture, and I'm not saying we're allowing it. We're the only culture that slightly allows you, you can be a blood, you can be an omega sci fi, you can be a zeta, phi, phi beta, you can be a crypt, the yeti. Still come in the name of God. A Mason. I know all of those in them. We gotta have we gotta talk about that too. If we're gonna have if we're gonna have a cookout for the for the for the community in the neighborhood and or the family. Let's really have one. Let's not do a block cookout. All of those things, man. We got to start attracting the kids more and more and more. The school I'm at, the principal said, yo, you got all the kids saying peace in here. <laughs> I said, I know. That's what I said, say to them. It's a habit, you know. It, you know, this is what it is. They see it now. Spanish people don't like the niggas, but I'm Spanish, so why are you talking about him like that? He probably don't know what you said, but come on, man. Y'all just y'all just hooping a minute ago, so now he's this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have all that, man. We're gonna have translators, we're gonna have all that stuff, man, in this culture. I just told you I know a lawyer, I know a dentist, I know a doctor. God, every time I feel sick, God, I call one of the earth. She told me everything. God, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. All right, God, go see an ENT specialist then. Or go see this. Because mm -hmm. I well, I mean, I mean, grandma's not here no more. But every time grandma I'm sick, grandma go whip some. Boop, 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 boop. Sit down, boy. So now we got to start, you know, dealing with the health thing, you know. And I'm working on my age too, but I mean, I'm still a Dominican N word. I, mean, I, I like N word stuff, man. I, I still eat. I eat well, but I don't eat. I don't eat well. <laughs> no, I eat good. I don't eat well. Gotcha. Because I will only be a vegetarian if I grow my own veggies. I, I ran bodegas and supermarkets. You don't know what's on those vegetables. Mm -hmm. But we take them home, we wash them off, we do all that apple vinegar, baking soda, we do all these things. You know, remember, you like Bubba said, eat to live. Eating is not a style, brother. Mm -mm. I eat to live. Right. So, so the takeaway today from your message is having, having structure. In the, in the nation and having more practical information to help move the culture forward and to not necessarily teach just the community, just like the people closest to you, teach the whole community, reach out to the community, deal with uh, uh, the person 
in the bakery shop, the person right next door, like be an actual community so that we have some kind of impact influence. And um, I think that's a good idea. And I, I think those are some great suggestions and uh, some good takeaways for today's podcast. Uh, you know, hip hop and rap, that's a different thing. But as far as the nation, you know, that's yeah, you know, I want I want to bring you back on to talk about you know some other things as far as like hip hop and some other stuff as well, Harlem stuff and you know some other things. You know, we could build about that. You know, uh, offline. Talk about Atlanta, definitely for sure. But I definitely want to build on that. That was a great build today. That's pretty much gonna go with other builds that I'm gonna have this week. This is pretty much like a five percent week. Because, you know, I got you on today, tomorrow. Uh, we got another God on, and um, hopefully I have another God on Thursday. So that'll be, to be this is the God week, you know. But thank you for coming out this okay. evening. Really appreciate you, brother. Appreciate that, man. Hope, hope, hopefully we'll have you on again. We are signing out. Thank y'all for tuning in to NY. Appreciate it, man. Peace. And peace.